Hi everyone! Today we'll be introducing the brand new Synology Active Directory server. It brings a cost-effective solution for IT team to easily deploy universal settings without compromising on security. In this video, you will be guided through on how to build an Active Directory environment for managing user accounts and Windows computers more efficiently. Sitting right next to me is the Synology DS916+, and we'll be using this unit throughout our demo today. Let us keep watching! Before you begin, please make sure you have installed Active Directory Server in Package Centers. Once this is installed, you can find it in the main menu. The first time you launch Active Directory Server, a wizard will appear to guide you through the setup. Enter a name to create your domain. Here we are using Synology.local as an example. Set a password that compiles with the password strings requirements. You can refer to DSM Health for more details. Click Next and apply to confirm the settings. Once your domain is created, you can now add and configure users in this domain. Go to Users and Computers, click Add and then User. We will set up a user account for Joanne by entering her email address and configuring a password. You can also tick any of the following options according to your needs to further manage the user's accounts and password settings for better security, such as forcing new employees to change the default password upon login, or disabling the accounts for an employee who is currently on paternity leave. If you want to add the user to specific groups other than the default users group, you can select one or more here. Check your settings and then click Apply. Next, let's go through how to set up home directories for users to automatically mount a network drive when they log into Windows computers that joins the Active Directory domain. Find the users you have just created in the list and double-click to edit the settings. Go to Profile and enter a local path. This can be any SMB path within the local area network. Here we will enter the home directory of Synology NAS as an example. If you would like to use home directory as your local path, you need to enable this service first. Go to Control Panel, User, Advanced, and click Enable User Home Service. Next, go to Domain LDAP, Domain Users, click Update Domain Data to get the latest user information first and then click User Home to enable home service for domain users. Now, let's get back to Active Directory Server and enter the home directory path of the Synology NAS. Click OK to complete the setting. Now, before the user can log in, let's have a look at how to change the DNS server of the Windows computer and join it to the domain. Go to Network and Sharing Center Double click on the connection, click Properties, and then open Internet Protocol version 4. Switch from Automatic to Preferred DNS Server Address and enter the IP address of your Synology NAS. Next, go to System, click Change Settings, Switch to Domain and enter the domain name you previously set. Enter the administrator credentials and click OK to finish adding the computers to the domain. Now the computer will automatically restart. Once the computer has restarted, switch to other users on the Windows login page and then enter Joanne's user credential. First-time login may require more time for Windows computers to create the user accounts. Now you can open File Explorer to find the home directory mounted on your local computer. Simply drag any files or folders to the home directory to backup from your personal computer to Synology NAS. 
Alternatively, if you are using a public computer in a meeting room within your company, you can easily locate the files you need without having to memorize any IP addresses or repeatedly enter your user credentials. With Active Directory Server, IT team can easily configure a personal cloud database for every employee within the local area network of the enterprise to streamline accounts and computer management. It is also compatible with Windows Remote Server administration tools, giving our cost-effective solutions even more flexibility. To learn more about Synology's products, please visit Synology website or check out more videos on our channel. Thank you for watching.